Okay, guys, uh, sit down, get a drink of water, and get ready. Because we are about to talk about a little movie known as Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. This is going to get fucking intense. So this intro alone is actually just crazy amazing. Starts out pretty simple, but you'll see the good parts as it goes along. So a nice little establishing shot of the city. Uh, you get to see that it's all cold and blah blah blah. Honestly, standard movie opening. Until right here when everything starts to freeze. This is when shit starts to get intense. Cause, boo! Yes! Dead! That, that... Ah, I was gonna make a joke there, but it just, it was not funny. Anyway, so we'll skip past a little bit. You see this lady, that's important. Um, but then this happens. Look, these fish are just jumping out of the water, and they're just freezing upon arrival. That's fucking badass. So, uh, this lady climbs up a little bit more, a uh, bird falls in her hair, she almost freezes, collapses here, blah blah blah. Cool. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about this world. So, this world is half steampunk, half Tim Burton, I don't know, it's, it's really weird. But essentially, uh, people like this lady here actually have the ability to uh, switch out body parts with other, like, things, I guess. So, like, uh, later in the movie you see this guy, his spine is replaced with uh, a xylophone, which he can play. Now, these are not, like, normal things. They have their pros and cons, like, it's a strong spine and it replaces his normal one because his normal one was, like, bad or something. But if it's left out in the rain or the snow, which they live on the top of a giant snowy mountain, that's kind of a problem, it, it, starts, it starts to rust, which is not good. Now, Jack, our main character here, uh, because it was the coldest day ever and everything was freezing, his heart actually froze, so they had to take it out and give him a cuckoo clock heart instead. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I, this was like my first what the fuck moment in this movie. Like, everything leading up to this was cool. But like, what, what the fuck? That was weird. But like, world, it's fine. That's a normal thing in this world. Uh, apparently. It's actually not, but we'll get to that later. So, uh, his rules with his heart, because it's like not a real heart, it has like its own special conditions. The thing with this heart is that it actually freaks out under like emotional stress. So like, uh, later in the movie he sees a pretty girl and it like cuckoos. Which is like a boner, and it's actually really funny to me that that's in there, and and I really like that. Anyway, so So, he essentially has to be an emotionless husk his whole life. Uh, so that's not good. He, he then spends the next like 10 years alone in this house. Until eventually on his 10th birthday, the witch doctor lady is like, Hey, yes! Let's go outside! And guess what he does? He breaks two of the three rules on day one being outside. He escapes from the witch doctor lady and then he meets this girl. She's pretty, but she she's supposed to wear glasses, but she doesn't wear glasses because she doesn't like how she is in the glasses. She can sing really well, but she's like mostly blind. Uh, so she can hear well, so she recognizes people mostly by voice. That is important for the whole story thing to happen. Anyway, so they start singing together and they sing this weird ass song. Uh, just listen to these lyrics right here. Let me 
clasp you close to me, rip your clothes, or in my teeth and tear them into confetti. To scatter as we kiss. Confetti. On you and me. Now, before we continue, I'd like to point out that these are 10 year olds. This is his 10th birthday. <laughs> also, that's like the first thing he ever says to her. Uh, I, it, uh, what? I wish I was that smooth to just go up to a girl and be like, Hey, I want to bite your clothes off, turn them into confetti and pound you a lot with my penis. Just, I'm going to use that line actually. Uh, I mean, let's try it. Let's try it on Tinder right now. I, I'll get back to you guys. Much later, much, much later, much, much later, much, much, much later. Okay, so that actually took so long to do for someone to finally match with me that I actually completely forgot about this video. And uh, here I am, about a year or two later, uh, gonna finish the video. So let's finish the video. Okay, so the rest of the song is a very, like, symbolized, I guess is a way of putting it, shit show, where <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff going on. Like, uh, like, it's hard, like, it's <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't talk. This is so hard. A little later. Okay, well, we're gonna skip through the rest of this, and I guess now is a good time to talk about that this originally was in French, which is why a lot of the lip syncing or some of the words just don't make sense. I've heard this song is beautiful when you listen to it, like, in French and actually understand French. Wait, pause, look in right there. Okay, uh, but yeah, I've heard it's beautiful when you're in French, but uh, also watch this. Uh, if you notice his heart, uh, this bitch gonna die. Now, of course, he doesn't actually die. He gets saved by Mother Lady. She she blames her. She blames the girl. So after one admittedly cool transition later, uh, the dude gets berated, like absolutely berated for everything that he did, reminded that he broke all of the rules, uh, and then more trippy shit happens. <laughs> like, I don't know. So like, fairy girlfriend climbs up his body, plays with his heart, uh, climbs inside of him, uh, and then just like does symbolic musicy French stuff. I don't know. And eventually he gets carried away, uh, quite literally. Uh, and who knows? Random trippy French stuff. I don't know. So he wakes up the next day, uh, and then ooh, <laughs> ooh, look at that. That's a little uh, that's a little uh, familiar to something we saw uh, earlier. You know? <laughs> My God. So. D despite the massive coincidence that was involved in this existing, uh, he realizes, hey, that's a, a school uniform. Uh, I, I need to go to school. I have to go to school. I want to go to school. I want to be a kid. Ah! <laughs> and this idiot makes a lovely decision of going to school, which would eventually lead to his inevitable demise. Dun dun dun. So Jack and his insane amounts of wisdom go to school <laughs> and he instantly gets bullied by this guy named Joe. It's my chemical romance looking motherfucker is a rapper. Like just listen to him spit bars for a little bit. I make sure the other kids respect me. There must be a few I simply scared. This is my empire, my realm, it's territory I'm ill inclined to share. I must admit I'm not impressed by change, it's stability for me. I take no risks and mercilessly crush any threat to my authority. Hello. I've always done what needed doing. In this yard, I'm the undisputed Hello. king. But there's a new kid who just started school and I sense he wants to muscle in. This is the type of man I want to take my virginity. Anyway, so after a short conversation, um, he finds out that the girl's name was... Her name is Mr. Cassiar. Uh, however, it turns out that a uh, little emo boy here, Joe, uh, really likes Miss Acacia, uh, and would prefer if she was all his. 
This is all to the moment that Gerard Way here finds out about his TikTok heart. Uh, don't forget about the dribble. And he gets real freaked out about it. This resulted in quite a big death threat. <laughs> don't let me hear you so much as mumble her name or I'll pulverize the clot that you call a heart. I mean that. I'll obliterate you. In fact, you'll be through with love when I'm done with you. Meanwhile... So, Mother Lady here is taking change extremely well. Singing sad songs all day with her cat. Boyo then comes home all sad. We get another amazing hamster, gerbil, whatever I called it, moment. Now he's just sad. Like, he has to keep going to school. But Gerard Way here keeps crushing his eggs and his dreams. Oh no. What follows is a brief... Bullying. Montage. So throughout the entire montage, it's actually been cutting back and forth between his birthday parties and him being bullied at school. Um, but more importantly, he is now in his senior year. He's 18 now. Uh, he can live on his own. Uh, let's see. Let's see how he handles that. Let's see. So after accidentally uh, poking some dude's eye out, uh, quite literally, uh, he runs for his life, uh, gets home, and then they immediately attempt to hide him from the police. Uh, and he has to keep running. Now, the train scene that we're about to get on is actually the scene where I originally gave up on watching the movie and just simply started making this video. The whole beginning of this video, the part before that Tinder joke, was made before the end of this scene and I want you guys to understand why this pushed me over the edge. So it starts with some tripping nonsense, uh, normal French BS that we've seen throughout the entire movie, but there's also this, in the middle of it there is a fight with Jack the Ripper. The main character here is fighting Jack the Ripper and running away from him and then he's saved by a weird mad scientist magician man. And I don't understand a single goddamn thing about this entire scene. It is a marvel among humanity's biggest mistakes. And I love it. I love every second of it. This is, this is the scene that makes me recommend this movie to people. It's so good. So anyway, the dude's like, Hey, yo, your heart's broken. Uh, let me take you to Paris to fix that shit. Uh, I got a shop there. Let's go. Uh, and then Jack does... For, for some reason. Blah blah blah, now his heart's better. Anyway, so they talk about how he's trying to create the video camera, which, uh, honorable goal, I am a big fan of video cameras. Uh, and then they decide that they're just gonna travel together, and uh, this leads to the best of the songs. No, I, would, I don't want to say the best of the songs, but the best of the actual music videos in the entire movie. Uh, so just uh, en enjoy this little uh, little mess. I'm gonna skip to my skip around to my favorite bits, but uh, have fun. Okay, so they show up at this place. Uh, I'm not really going to keep talking about this movie. Uh, I I love this movie so much, and honestly, I think you guys should just find it and watch it yourself. If you honestly want me to like do the entire rest of the movie so you can figure out what the fuck this is, uh, let me know, uh, and I will do it. But that's only if there's a lot of demand, because honestly, I think you guys should just go out and legitimately watch this movie on your own it's an interesting ride and i i left i hopefully enough out of my summary of this movie that you can enjoy it still at least the parts i've described uh it's an adventure this movie is such a fucking adventure just enjoy yourself dude
goodbye i'll make more of these probably in the future on other movies uh, enjoy yourself have fun <laughs>